What's going on guys? Thanks for watching. Keep calm and game on. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to live stream from your Facebook page. So basically, this is how you're going to do it. First off, you need a Facebook page. So go make a Facebook page. I'm not going to show you how to do that. There's lots of videos out there that will explain it to you. It's pretty simple, but make a Facebook page. This is mine right here. If you want to check it out, links in the description. But uh, yeah, so you make a Facebook page. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and download a program call called OBS. It stands for Open Broadcast Software. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. So type that in, look it up, Google it. I might even put a link in the description. But yeah, OBS, Open Broadcast Software. Install that on your computer. Make sure you have the Windows version or, or the, the Mac version, whatever you're streaming with. Um, select that version. And then you're going to want to go to your Facebook page. Okay, so you go to your Facebook page. And then uh, this is mine. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the live video button right here. See that? You click on the live video button. And you got a couple different options. You can create an event, which is like if you want to set up a stream for a future date and then have it like remind people and people can kind of like, uh, you know, join the events. And then when it starts, they can like pop in and they'll know you're streaming. Or you can just go live. I'm going to show you how to go live. So basically, you click on the go live button. All right. And then you can also do a little test broadcast, make sure you set stuff up right. I'm not going to do that. But uh, you just select that. So select that there. And then after that loads up, I got a pretty slow computer. Okay, it's going to load up eventually. Come on, there you go. Okay, and you got a couple different options. You can stream using your webcam. And that's if you don't want to go through OBS. Or if you want to go through OBS, which I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. You hit on the streaming software because OBS is streaming software. So you click on that tab right here. Then you're going to want to go down here. Let me just exit all those tips. You're going to want to copy and paste your stream key into your OBS software. So you can basically double click it and then copy that, or you can just hit the copy button, whatever works for you. Once you do that, you're gonna wanna go over to OBS. This is what the program looks like more or less. Kinda looks like I'm in the matrix right now because I'm screen capturing and all that, but you're gonna get the idea. Okay, so once you come over here, you're gonna wanna start a new scene. Uh, basically, you just hit the plus sign, you name your scene, you hit OK. Once you do that, it's going to look very similar to this. I got a couple different sources plugged in. The sources are basically your webcam, your images you want to have in your background, your, your microphone. I already got a bunch of that popped in right now. For example, I'm recording my PC screen, and that's how I'm capturing this. So once you got that set up, you're going to want to go to File under the Settings. You're going to want to go to Settings. It's going to bring up this page right here. Then under the stream option, you're going to want to go to stream key. And once that is selected, just backspace that. And then you're going to want to copy and paste your stream key into there. Then once that's done, um, you're also going to want to change the service. Because right now it says I'm streaming to YouTube. I was streaming to YouTube in the past. But since you're going to be streaming from Facebook, you're going to either select the Facebook Live one. Or if you want to make sure and double check your streaming to the actual correct one, Go back to your page here, and then if you hit Advanced Settings, right below the stream key where it shows on the Facebook page, if you hit Advanced Settings, and down at the bottom it's going to say Server URL. And that is the exact server um, for your Facebook page. So basically, you can copy that, open up OBS again, and then up where it says Service, just hit the Custom button, and then you're going to pop that co copy and paste what you just copied, into that section there where it says server. Now you have the exact server of your page where it appears on the internet. You got your stream key. And then once you do all that, you're simply going to hit the apply button. Okay? So you hit the apply button. Um, you can also set up some, some things over here like um, the audio. You know, select your audio device. Select uh, your video um, resolution. All that stuff. I'm assuming you guys probably know how to do that. If not, I can make a separate video. But um, once you got all that set up, the main thing that this video is covering right now is how to pop your stream key and your server in there so you can stream to Facebook, okay? So I already did that. So you hit apply, okay? Hit apply. And then uh, once you do that, um, you just go back over to the Facebook page, okay? You go back over here. And then on the sidebar, you got a couple different options. You can choose if you want to paste it to your timeline, if you want to paste it in a group, and then you got your dashboard here as well. And uh, that's going to come up with different things you can control during the stream. But more or less, that's how you do it. They've changed a couple things since I was last on here. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see your comments, your viewers, your stream. 
And once you hit the go live button, you should have some more options. It will say like, uh, it'll come up. I can't hit the go live button now because the source isn't there because I'm not streaming. But basically what you're going to do once you have the stream key and stream server popped in, you're going to go back over to OBS and you're going to hit the start streaming little button at the top here. Okay, you click on this. And then once you click on that, it's going to pop up this little button down here. This go live button is going to turn like green. All right, it's going to turn blue. And then once you click on that, it's going to come up with some other options. Like you can name your stream, you can tag it, you can upload a a specific thumbnail if you have a pre-made one where you might be able to take a picture. But that's not going to show up until you actually hit the go live button on your OBS software. So if you did everything right, if you popped in your stream key, you popped in the stream URL and you hit go live, the start streaming button on OBS, then that will turn green. You click on it, and then it comes up with other options. And once you got all those options set up, all your, your titles and all that, then it's basically going to say, go live. And it'll show like a little test stream. It'll show what your camera looks like beforehand. And you just hit go live, and then you'll be ready to go, and you'll be streaming. And that's pretty much the long and short of it. Um, I could go into what all these different options are, but I'm sure you guys can figure it out yourself. It's pretty easy. Um, Facebook even gives you some tips along the way to kind of explain things. But I, I find that the that what people have the most trouble with is finding the stream key and uh, you know server URL. And that's basically what we did there. It's just under the stream setup. You click on this. You copy and paste this in your OBS. And again, that is under the file button, the settings button. And then it's under the stream option. You pop that in there, stream key there. Then up here, you do Facebook Live or you click on the server URL, get the URL. You hit the custom button. You pop that down there. You hit save. And you're pretty much golden. You're pretty much good to go after that. Um, so if you guys found this video helpful, please let me know in the comment section. If you have any more questions or if you want me to make uh, another video kind of going through it a little bit more in depth, I can do that as well. I didn't really show you how to, you know, make sure your mic is selected, make sure how your webcam is selected. That's, that's more on the OBS side. This is more on the Facebook side that I was showing you. But again, it's super simple. Um... You know, it's I can make another video of that if you want me to. But uh, yeah, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up to help me with the YouTube algorithm, help me pop up so I can help other people. And if you want to stay up to date with all my shenanigans, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I do a lot of live streams on Facebook and YouTube. Um, the links for that are in the description. And yeah, I do vlogs, I do Let's Plays, I do live streams, I do first looks. Uh, developers, they send me codes for games sometimes, and I, I do like first looks sometimes before anybody else can actually play the game. I get the game before it's even on like store shelves on occasion. But yeah, if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comment section. If you got any questions, post those down there and I'll try to answer them for you. But yeah, it's pretty simple. You know, more or less, that's really all there is to it. So if you found it helpful, let me know. And if you need more help, let me know that as well. Again, this is for live streaming on your Facebook page. The setup for streaming on your normal Facebook profile is basically the same. It just looks a little bit different here. I prefer streaming on my Facebook page because I don't want my friends seeing what I'm up to because they'll be like, oh, you you play video games? Oh, you're cool. I don't got any friends, guys. <laughs> I don't got any I'm, I'm joking. You're my friends. Hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, my name is Adam, and remember, keep counting. Game on. Toodles!